Hello everyone and welcome to the Edison Mall in Fort Myers, Florida. I'd have to say one of the fairly largest one-story mall I have ever seen. So, Edison Mall is an enclosed super regional shopping mall in Fort Myers, Florida. The mall opened in 1965 and has been expanded three times since. Edison Mall is owned by Washington Prime Group, which took over the mall in 2014. The mall's anchors are Dillard's, J.C. Penney, and two Macy's stores, and also include 133 stores and a lifestyle center section. The mall itself is situated on just one floor, but all of the anchors, except for the former Sears, have two floors. George Sanders developed the Edison Mall, which opened in 1965 on U.S. Route 41 at Colonial Boulevard on, on the south side of Fort Myers. At the time, US 41 was only two lanes wide, and the only other business near the mall were a public supermarket and a drive in theater, which later became the site of a Kmart store and is now a floor and decor. The mall was opening, led to more conver commercial, commercial development south of downtown Fort Myers. Upon its opening, the Edison Mall. Featured rival chains J.C. Penney's and Sears as its anchor stores, located at each end of the mall. This marks the first time the two rival stores were co-located in the same mall in the United States. Both J.C. Penney's and Sears were stores were relocated from previous stores in downtown Fort Myers. J.C. Penney's previous store downtown was located in the Lan Langford Building, and the Sears downtown store was located across the street. The Tampa-based department store, Mass Brothers, also opened in 1965 as the third anchor in the center of the mall. This would be Mass Brothers' first store to an anchor shopping mall as they previously only operated freestanding stores in the downtown areas. Mass Brothers would, would later go to open more locations in malls in Florida's Gulf Coast, starting with the West Shore Plaza and the Tyrone Square Mall. As with their previous stores, Mass Brothers operated a restaurant within the store on the second floor. George Sanders sold the mall to Asher Realty in 1979. The mall received a major expansion the same year, thus resulting in a new wing with the second mall entrance to Mass Brothers. The new wing also included the addition of a fourth anchor, Miami-based Burdenies. J.C. Penney's was also expanded in 1979 with an addition to a second floor. Another expansion in 1985 added J.W. Robinson of Florida. Also sold its location to Mason Balakwet in 1987, which in turn then sold it, its store in six others on the Gulf Coast of Florida to Dillard's four years later. Also in 1991, Mass Brothers was acquitted by Burdenies with the former Mass building, which was highly renovated and became a women's store with men's, kids, and home departments were retained in the original location. Dillard's was expanded and renovated in 1999, and along with the rest of the Burdenies chain, the two locations, the Edison Mall, were renamed Burdines Macy's in 2003, dropping the Burdines name two years later. Also in 2005, Simon announced a further renovation of the mall, which added an outdoor lifestyle center wing and renovated the interior. In 2015, Sears Holdings spun off 235 of its properties, including the Sears Edison Mall, into Seritage property, Seritage Growth Properties. In late 2017, a new wing was opened within the mall connecting two existing corridors. The new wing was a part of a $4 million renovation and was designed to shorten the distance between the two ends of the mall. On February 2nd, 2020, Sears closed its Edison Mall location after 55 years of operation. The store was the last Sears store to close in southwest Florida after its locations at the Coastland Center Mall and the Fort, Ma Fort Charlotte Town Center in Naples and Port Charlotte, respectively closed in 2020. 18. So that's all I really have for you. So 
I'm going to be quiet and let you enjoy the music. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, so if you did, give it a like. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe for more content. And until next time, take care and stay cool. Bye. In your